Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my March haul video. Disclaimer, I have no excuses. I was fully aware of everything I was purchasing and uh, I don't I don't feel bad about it. The world's going to hell in a handbasket, it feels like, and uh, you know, I just felt like uh, buying some makeup, so here we are. Um, I'm just gonna get right into it. If you guys are new to my channel, just know I do upload every other day, so you get quite a few videos from me every month, and please subscribe so you don't miss any of those, and ring that notification bell, because apparently, YouTube is struggling right now to push out videos. I guess previously most videos are like reviewed by a person and now that people are self-quarantining they don't have as many people to do that. So a lot of videos you won't see like ads and stuff like that so a lot of creators are struggling. Definitely this is not my full-time job but there are a lot of YouTubers that do rely on their YouTube income so just a little disclaimer to you guys to try and help your fellow YouTubers, your favorite beauty gurus by watching their videos and uh, leaving some engagement and things like that. It really helps everyone out. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Always thinking of you guys and thank you always for coming here and dealing with my uh, minor shopping problem. Anyway, <laughs> okay, let's get into it. First thing I bought. You're gonna see a lot of green eyeshadow palettes in this video and I make no apologies. Um, I kind of want to do like a green palettes series, like do different eye looks with all my little green palettes. So I've kind of started, I've already filmed a look with this. I don't know if this is gonna be up yet, but look forward to that on my channel. It's a little mini tasty avocado palette. It's so cute. My friend Angie bought this and I was like, okay, I mean, she like liked it. I don't think she like loved it. And I was like, okay, it's just okay, you know, but then it was on Ulta and it was like eight bucks and I was like, oh, it's so cute, I want it. So the collector in me like leapt for it and picked it up. But I actually think it's a nice palette for the price point. It's like 10 bucks. So I am excited to have this in my collection and look forward to that video. This one I haven't filmed on yet. This is another I Heart Revolution palette this is the heartbreakers i don't know this was seven dollars and i thought it was gonna be bigger than this to be very honest with you guys but it's actually really cute i don't know i just i was just like drawn to it so i definitely want to film a video with that as well definitely into like affordable makeup right now too so it's been really fun to try some of the more affordable makeup brands okay so the next green palette i bought is this guy this is the urban decay g train on the run palette again this one was on sale on sephora's website and i've already filmed an eyeshadow palette look with this i just wanted to try all the green palettes like i said and since i was able to grab this on sale and i haven't really tried an urban decay palette in a long long time i thought this would be interesting for all of us to experience here on my channel so look forward to a video on that and then i did make a glam light purchase and i don't think this video is going to be up yet either but i did film the look i have on my face is with the glam light stuff so the first thing i bought is this gloss how cute it's called the tequila gloss and it's been out for a long time and then they restocked it so i grabbed it because I mean, you can never have too many clear glosses. I like it because it's not like obnoxious or anything, but it feels pretty hydrating and it has a nice a glossy vibe to it. So, so far I like that. I am happy with my purchase. The next thing I bought from Glamlight is the cake palette. So this is the palette I have on my eyes today with a few other things that I'll probably show you here soon. And this is what the inside of the palette looks like. I believe my friend Angie and Amy both have Full videos on this palette so if you guys want to see more looks but yeah I'll have this look up soon as I can get it edited for you guys I've got a lot of pre-filmed content so I'm really excited because it's so nice for me to have stuff pre-done because then I can just edit and have it ready to go up and that really takes a lot of pressure off of me to film like everyday type of thing so yeah very fun to know that I have all these videos accumulated go me so the next thing I picked up is a pre-order that came in the mail I did pick up the Terra Moon cosmetics what are these called 
the Vibrant Chameleons, I believe. So these three shades, this shade, I've mixed them all up now because, oh no, it's these four and then this green shade are the Vibrant Multichromes from Terra Moon. As you guys can see, I've added all my like interesting multichromes and like different shades into this Cleonod stained glass palette just so I can like reach for them more. But the Terra Moons did just arrive because I did pre-order them when they launched in like February. So the next thing I got was one of my purchases from Sephora in February. I bought the Pearl Highlighter. This is from Fenty Beauty. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm obsessed with this. It's the highlighter I have on today. It gives me the most natural, like, dewy look, and I am obsessed. I really want to try this with, like, no makeup and just to, like, pat it on with my finger and, like, blend it. So that's one of my goals for this month. But so far, I've worn this, like, three or four times, and I really, really like it. Do you see that glow? Do you see it? It's so beautiful and very natural, so plus plus for me. Okay guys, so the next thing I picked up, and I'm so excited about these, Adept Cosmetics launch some new shades as well as relaunch some of their single shadows. So I did go ahead and pick those up. They actually came really fast. I didn't know if they were going to have any shipping delays because of Voldemort, but they were here, lickety split, and I am so excited to try those out that will definitely be in a video soon next thing this is <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh but i've been thinking about naked honey for a while this is a total Teresa made me buy it purchase and i don't know i've just been like lusting after this palette and then my husband offered to buy me an eyeshadow palette and i was like okay, get me the Naked Honey palette, and it was on sale on Urban Decay because they were doing friends and family, so he did pick this up for me. I've only used it, like, once, and I wasn't, like, totally impressed. I think I was going to try it out a little more, and if I really didn't like it, I was going to send it back, but then the whole Voldemort thing happened, and as you guys will see in this video, I'm a little preoccupied on the eyeshadow palette, so hopefully I can test that out more and give you guys a opinion on it soon. Next, you've already seen a video on this guy. This is the Melt Rust Palette. And I thought this was okay. It was definitely better than Millennial Pink. But it wasn't, like, blowing me away either. And I haven't really touched it since I filmed that video. So this is definitely one I need to go back to as well. And then I have been enjoying this palette off camera. This is the Mint to Be Palette from ColourPop. This is my only ColourPop purchase of 2020 so far. I'm really, really proud of myself for this one. I shouldn't have bought anything really from ColourPop this year because I just filmed a video where I recapped everything from ColourPop in 2019 and it was intense. I think they had like 65 or more launches and I had purchased about 30 launches from them in 2019. So I'm trying to be better in 2020 so I'm still proud of myself that I've only bought one thing but who knows what the rest of the year will bring but I've I've been strong and I'm pretty impressed with myself about that the next thing I did buy this was the start of March so I wasn't planning on going as crazy as I did but with Voldemort it's just been so tempting to shop and I really don't have any excuses other than that but this is the Bretman Rock Wet n Wild palette this is so cute I did see that this is available on Target now too so I don't know if it's still up there but my friend Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun was raving about this palette and do you guys see this green shade like come on that green shade I was like yep I'll, I'll take one please so that is the packaging too he did a really good job I mean like I'm really impressed with Wet n Wild on that palette so yeah kind of my dirty little secret <laughs> so next I picked up these two which again cringe because BH Cosmetics is on my list of brands I don't want to buy from this year I did end up swatching these in store and I thought they were really beautiful so I did pick them up on Ulta's website but then I did have buyer's remorse too. I was like, eh, I don't know. I might end up keeping these though now because of 
Voldemort. <laughs> I uh, don't think I can get into store to return them. I did swatch this one. The one in store that I swatched swatched a lot nicer than this palette, but that might just be because it's so new. Um, maybe I just need to scratch through the first layer. I don't know. Um, and then I bought the Switzerland palette too because the greens in these palettes just felt so nice in store. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know if you'd like to see looks with that palette and so on and so forth oh this guy i don't know if i showed this in my february haul but my husband also bought me this palette this is the Cosette palette i don't really know what this is called but Cosette is on my list of brands to try in 2020 and this palette is listed as like a value of like a hundred and something dollars and it was on sale for like 45 bucks so it was kind of confusing I've heard very mixed things about Cosette some people say the owner is like a little bit extra I don't really know much about the brand but I haven't tried this palette yet so I'm excited to do that and then you guys saw this in or you will see this in a video as well I just showed it in a video I haven't used this on camera yet but this is the lime crime prelude exposed palette this was on sale for the ultra 21 days of beauty I did a eyeshadow look with chroma and I did a review for you guys and a lot of you did tell me you ended up getting the palette and I'm really excited. I've seen a lot of people post it online and stuff like that. So I hope you guys are enjoying your Chroma palette. I really like it. It's one of my favorite purchases of 2020 so far. So I'm excited to try Exposed as well. And I love the packaging and everything they did. So another thing I did is I did place a Profusion order. And they launched some new brushes. And you guys know I'm a sucker for some affordable brushes. So I got a set of their eye brushes. I really like this packaging. I like that they put it in like a little plastic pouch. I mean, I guess it's not really necessary, but it definitely like protects them from shipping and stuff like that. So keep an eye out. I will definitely be using these in a upcoming video. I'm very excited. I've got some really good affordable brush brand finds that aren't like drugstore, but you can like buy them on the brand's website. So maybe I'll do a video kind of talking about some of the pros and cons of each of those brands let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in seeing because i personally hate paying a lot of money for eyeshadow brushes maybe my un unpopular opinion i mean i do have some sonia g and wayne goss brushes and i love those but if i can achieve the same effect for less i'm also very happy so that is my spiel on that okay guys so i did get added to a very exciting pr list the menagerie cosmetics pr list and they were so kind enough to gift me the pastel pup palette which is their new palette i'm so excited about the feedback i've been getting on this video where i did a eye look and swatches of this particular palette it's got really good views so i'm really excited because tutorials and like eyeshadow looks don't really get such good views on youtube and my channel either but i was so excited and grateful so thank you guys for that it really helps me out and then they also sent me their camouflage powder which i am so excited about and then they sent me a bunch of lippies as well so thank you to menagerie oh and then they also sent me their trifoil shadows which i did use one of these in the video i filmed so if you guys want to see them but i want to use them some more as well so pretty oh my goodness okay i was also lucky enough to receive some pr from good molecule so they sent me a bunch of stuff it's kind of all over the place but here's some of it that I have. I've been using the silicone primer a lot. It's just a nice extra layer of hydration. My skin is very dry. So I've been trying to like incorporate it into my everyday makeup routine. I've used it on makeup looks on camera as well. This is nice. It doesn't like pill or anything like that. I really like it. It's a nice primer. Does that mean you need to like own it? Absolutely no. But I'm very grateful that they sent me a package and they also sent me this which I'm really excited to try. It's their instant cleansing balm. This I want to try out because currently I'm using up my pharmacy green cleanser balm which is really really good. 
And so I want to see if this one could be a dupe because I'm pretty sure this is a lot less expensive. Okay, I did pick up something from a indie brand. This is from, what is this brand called? Killer Queen Cosmetics, I believe. And they came out with these cool pastel like um, water activated gel liner so I thought it would be fun to pick this up I love this packaging it's so cute this was pretty affordable and so you guys know me I love to shop indie whenever I can and pastels are such hyped up things this is really cute I like how they use the straw and it's like happy hour themed so yeah, look at these, they're so fun. I need to play with these more. I've seen Butte Bean use these types of shades in her thumbnails. So this is, oh, I just dropped one, but how fun. Soup's fun, soup's dupes fun. So much fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm in a mood. Okay, here's the packaging for the Menagerie powder. It's so beautiful. I wish I could like frame it and like hang it on my wall because that's how pretty it is. I'm totally gonna hoard that. Okay, here's another brand I decided to try this month. I haven't used this on my eyes yet, but I talked about Uma Beauty or U O M A Beauty Beauty in a anti haul video, and you guys said, Karen, you know what? Stop talking shit and actually try the brand. And then this palette happened to go on sale on Ulta for twenty two bucks, and I was like. Well, it's like a sign. It's like the makeup gods are telling me I need to try this palette. So I did pick it up. Definitely planning on filming with that. I'm so, so pumped for that palette. Okay, and then I also have Nomad Cosmetics on my list of brands to try in 2020. And this palette went on sale. I have hummed and hawed about this palette for so, so long. This is the Harajuku Tokyo palette from Nomad Cosmetics and they were doing a spring sale and you know what? I just felt like supporting the brand. They are a husband and wife duo that work together and if you guys didn't know, me and my husband work together so I'm like a sucker for supporting small businesses because it's definitely hard to be married and work together. Trust me, it takes very very special people to do that so I am so excited to try out their palette. Random drugstore purchase I picked up another one of the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost and Set Brow thingies. This is really nice it has a really nice brush and it's affordable so in case you guys are struggling with your brows right now because of social distancing you might want to check this out because it really like fluffs them and keeps them in place through like a work day for you guys. Okay, so I placed a little AOA studio order and I got some face gem stickers just because I thought those would be fun to do some fun makeup looks. I also want to try their super strong strip lash adhesive. So these were a dollar. I was supposed to do some prom makeup in April. I'm pretty sure prom got canceled, but whatever, it's fine. I want to try it for myself too, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I showed this in my February haul, but I did pick up one of the Morphe bronzers. This is in the shade Trailblazer, and I am wondering if I maybe made a mistake on the shade because this is very warm tone, but I'm thinking I'll probably give it more of a shot in the summertime. I'm wearing a different bronzer today, which I'm going to show you here in a second, but I really like this packaging too, so I did use it in a few videos if you guys are interested, and again, I think if Ulta was open right now, I probably end up exchanging this for a lighter shade but since they're closed I don't really know what to do about it and I'm just gonna move on from there and then I also picked this up in a Alta order I have been craving the clown blush palette by likely makeup they are an indie brand I don't know if you guys are familiar with them but they have these really cool like kind of different blush shades and they have a palette that has a yellow blush now the palettes are about 20 something dollars and and I kind of want both of their blush palettes, but it's one of those things where I'm like, am I really going to wear a yellow blush? Well, I think I kind of know my answer. It's probably no, but did you guys know NYX makes a yellow blush? Because I saw this on Ulta and I was like, oh, and it was like five bucks. So I'm like, let me try this out. Let me see what I can come up with. So I'm finally showing this in a video so now I can like put it to use and see what I end up coming up with but maybe like some kind of cool I want to do like a blush drape look so we'll see how that turns out okay so something else I picked up on sale this is so funny I 
<laughs> this is my second month with Jaclyn products. What's going on with me? But I actually really like these. I tried them in a video. Um, it was called products I picked up on sale. So that'll probably go up after this one. But I picked up every single one of our formulas from her highlighting collection. I've tried this palette once so far and I really enjoyed it. So I am looking forward to playing with these more. These feel really luxe, you guys. If the products are still on sale and you guys are intrigued, I would recommend giving it a try because you know what? There's a lot of shady dealings in the makeup world. I mean, if you don't want to support her, I get it. But if you're curious, take advantage of the sale. Like, don't pay full price later in case the prices go up. So I'm so far pretty impressed with Miss Jacqueline. The thing I placed my AOA order was to pick up this little brush set and I have a video coming up called playing with mini makeup or something like that and this is so cute because they came out with the travel brush set and this was 10 bucks and it comes in this really nice tin. So I just thought this was the coolest thing ever for busy ladies on the go or if you like to do your makeup, you know, like on the train or in the car when somebody else is driving. This is kind of a cool way to carry some makeup brushes around and I was able to do a full face of makeup with this. So look for that video if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts on these brushes. Okay, like I said, I've been on an affordable kick and I've been on a green palette kick. So. Profusion did the damn thing and I needed, again, I needed to spend like 30 bucks for free shipping or something like that. So you can ring the shame bell, but I don't really care that much. So these palettes were five bucks and I'm so curious. So this blue palette, I saw pretty good reviews on this guy. This is the Electric Blues. I think this is limited edition though. So if you want it, you might have to snag it quick. And then they came out with this beautiful neon palette, which honestly to me looks like a pastel palette. Um, but I'm interested to create a look with that. I bought their Brights palette and I ended up selling it on my Poshmark because I, again, did what I did in this video, bought way too many eyeshadow palettes and didn't have enough time for them. But I'm a little bit more determined to go through all these palettes, even if they're not the hippest, newest palette. I want to make a video on it and I think you guys will appreciate that. I think $5 for a palette really sparks my curiosity, so I want to know if these are good. And then I saw this Emeralds palette, and you guys know I had to grab it. A $5 green eyeshadow palette, like, that's pretty amazing. So I will definitely film an eyeshadow look with this. And, fun fact, I have another one, so I will definitely put this in a future giveaway. I have a pretty dope giveaway box going right now. I'm so impressed with myself since I've gotten a few things in PR. There's some like goodies in there, lots of green eyeshadow palettes. So if you guys are balling on a budget, I'm just saying maybe like subscribe to my channel and instead of buying makeup, you can win it. That's free. So just a thought, just a thought. And you're helping me out, which is, you know, cool. <laughs> okay, last two things. These are PR as well. I did have the Menagerie. That was my other PR, I think, for March. But um, my gorgeous friend, Samantha March, came out with her collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics, and I was so pumped when I received this in PR. And Samantha was so kind and contacted me and asked me to go to her launch party. <laughs> Who am I guys? Who am I? I met Samantha last year in October when I went to Ipsy and I was just so freaking excited about the launch party. She did have to end up postponing because of Voldemort but the collection came out and I've been wearing this bronzer and blush pretty much every day. It's the bronzer I have on right now. It's like amazing. You guys I never think to like buy a backup of a bronzer, but I'm like, hmm, I could use a backup of that, but I, I didn't do it. It is going to be permanent, so I'm just going to pick up another one when I use the one I have up, but how pretty is this PR box? It is on my display shelf up there. I need to put that up there, but uh, I'm so proud of her, so very, very exciting if you guys are able to support. The products are also available on Ulta.com, so if you have some Ulta points and you want to support a YouTuber, 
might be the time to do so. Anyway, the last product is another YouTuber collaboration and it is actually a brand I'm affiliated with. These guys had a rough go too with their launch because of Voldemort. Um, Voldemort's been fucking shit up for everyone in the makeup community and I'm so glad that people are still so hyped for this. This is a Smoky Glow and Midas Cosmetics collab and they sent me the PR box. I am so pumped. Like who am I? I bought the palette so I have my own back there. I've already filmed a look with the eyeshadow palette because the owner of Midas is such a thoughtful human being. She actually shipped out the people's orders first and then sent the PR, which I think is very smart. Like, you want to take care of your customers, and I think that was stellar of her to do that. So I actually got my palette quite a while ago. I have a look up with that. I want to film another look, but like I said, you guys, I got some, like, good stuff, and this one is definitely going in a giveaway for one of you guys, or maybe I'll, like, split it up. We'll see. Depending on how much stuff I have, I'm really in the mood to give back. I'm just waiting to see how this whole Voldemort thing plays out just so I don't have to like send anyone packages like right now. I'm not really wanting to like burden the postal service with makeup packages so let's go ahead and wait on that but just know it's coming so I'm so excited because I want to try the lip glosses and the highlighter palette like how cute is this and the whole packaging it's just so cute she did such a good job oh my god look at this packaging like I was worried that these would be too light for me but I think I can pull these off so very very excited to put that on my face and she wrote a note for everyone that got PR which I thought was such a nice touch on both of their parts but yeah how cute is that this is definitely gonna go back there so you guys can see it in a few videos at least but yeah that is everything you guys I know it was bad I'm gonna do better in April that's like I, I feel like this was like my excuse to like go nuts and now I'm gonna just like calm it down so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video soon if you are new here just so you know I do upload every other day and I will see you guys in my next one soon bye guys <laughs>